Hello everyone and welcome to the RNG University on tonight's episode, Dominaria Remaster, once again. Also learned something really funny on the bottom here. I'm not sure what that says. Elements the the bombage. I think it's gonna explode on me if I open it incorrectly. So let's go ahead and try it out. Dominaria Remaster. Uh, the prices of these cars have been steadily going up, I think. Well, at least the, the box has. And this is actually an amazing set. Uh, the cards are very, very good in terms of their power level. A lot of these cards are very nostalgic as well. So that's that's fun. And uh, this is definitely a good remastered set. All right, so let's go ahead and open our packs, starting with pack number one. And they, they have these pull taps, but I don't really like using pull taps. I guess I already opened this one. Uh, the thing about the pull tap is that they tend to damage the cards on the on the corners there. Even if it's just the token or the first common, I still don't like doing that. So, we got a goblin, and on the back, sheep. Alright, first car! Uh, Vampiric Tutor Borderless... Uh, the border list or showcase, mythic rare, all, all around foil, nice card. All right, so that's our first card, and it's already a mythic. That's a good, good open the box, right? Uh, start of the box. Windborn Muse. This is the one where you know it's basically a ghostly prison, but a creature. Uh, not as great. All right, then we got uh, Retro Lyra Dawnbringer. Crazy card, second mythic, very fun. All right, and then we have. A Woodland Cemetery, regular uh, foil. That's just, it is what it is. Wild Dogs, Duress, Icy Manipulator. We get a forest. I'm going to put the land on the side here. And then uh, a bunch of commons, uh, uncommons. I'm just going to keep going. We got the uh, Pain Suffering. We got the Life and Death, Solar Blast, Smoldering Crater, Phantom Flock, Deep Analysis, and then Goblin Medic. All right, that's it. I'm going to put the... Retro cards aside, and then the common cards here. The rares go here. Like that. All right, that's pack number one. We got two mythics. That's fun. Let's hope we can do that every pack. But hey, you know what? Sometimes we get a zombie. On the back, construct. Oh, look, we did get another mythic. Gauntlet of power. Uh, as it enter the battlefield, you enter, uh, choose a color, and then a uh, creature of the chosen color, plus one, plus one. Uh, basic land that taps for that color gets an additional mana. It's not that great of a card, honestly. I mean, in, in like a low power commander, you can see it coming, but or you can, you can see it being useful. It is a retro, or not retro. It is a borderless, and it is a mythic. So, you know, what? I'm happy. Oh, Sylvan Library, double mythic pack again. I, I, that's that's what we want, right? A Sylvan Library, Denizen of the Deep, retro. Ugh. What? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Two double. Double denizens? That's not fun. All right, th this is the card that people don't want to get. All right, Tormor's Crib, uh, Momentary Blink, Juggernaut. Those are our retro cards, and then we got a uh, Island. Island's actually the one that's worth the most money. Retro Foil. I guess people like running islands in their deck, but uh, this is probably uh, worth money because it's older. The, the the art. I feel like this is from you know the Alpha Beta days. So I don't remember. Sarah Angel, Dragon Whelp. Symbiotic Beast, Metal War, Primal Boost, in Inter Beast, Ember Beast, Inter Beast, Empty the Warden. All right, so that's all the cards that I'm going to talk about in that pack. This pack actually opened very nicely. They kind of unsleeve like that. I love packs that open like that. All right, and then we have Elephant and an Elemental. Then we have Decimate, Retro Foil, but it's Decimate, so it's going to go over there. Uh, Jester's Cap, that's a cool card. Uh, it's not Mythic, but it's it's something I like. Uh, search your library. Sack it, sack search your library. Search your opponent's library. Actually, no, just search target player's library for three cards, and then it exiles them. So, yeah. yeah, in Commander, this is really, really good because it's uh, it's uh, Singleton, so you get to take out three of their really good cards, and maybe even their win con. And then what? Right? Uh, Jester's Cap is a fun card. Uh, Overmaster, I also like this card a little bit because it's, uh, you know, things that stop counter spells are always good in niche situations, but it's fun. I saw a good card next. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, Yogmoth Duran Physician uh, Foil. Nothing crazy about the treatment, but it is a foil mythic, so that's nice. And then we have uh, Mogward uh, Marshall, Chainer's Edict, and then uh, Tania's Ship Carrier. All right, it goes over there. 
All right, so this is the uh, other island that's not as rare because it's not as new. So then we have Stand, Deliver, Flame Tongue Kavu, Street Wraith, Twisted Experiment, Obsessive Search, Perengr... Per I can never pronounce this word. Perengreen Drake and uh, uh, Emerald Charm. I don't know why, I just immediately put it on the wrong pile. All right, that's three packs. And we got... Did I miss a Mythic? I, I feel like we... Yeah, we got five Mythics off three packs. That is... Good rate. Good hit rate. And we got Goblin and Griffin. All right, now we got a Royal Assassin. I think we got a Foil Royal Assassin last time. That's unfortunate. All right, uh, this is Retro Foil, so it goes here. And then we got Decimate Borderless. That's uh, just that. Pyro Zombie and Forgotten Ancient. Now, that, that's a dud pack if you've ever seen one. Spirit Link. Uh, fa, fa, Faldi? Faldia Seer? Uh, draw draw a card, reveal it if it isn't a land discard. Uh, counter spell, not foil. Ah, this this card in foil is actually worth something. Not foil means it's going to go in, in a pile somewhere. Planks, fire blast, uh, invigorating bloom, uh, wild dogs again, Phyrexian debaser, radiant, uh, yeah, radiance, hmm. radiance judgment. I thought radiance an adjective. Anyways, uh, another seer, uh, now a, now a horseshoe crab. Horseshoe Crab is actually part of a lot of infinite combos because it can tap for one blue to untap itself. So, yeah. All right, that's pack number four. We got a dud pack, so now it's only five mythics out of four packs. Come on, be a good box. Elephant. Griffin. Ooh, Gamble. Uh, foil Retro Gamble. That's, that's not bad. Lotus Bloom. Borderless, but not foil. So it's just going to give... Get over there. Cryptic Gateway. I remember this card back in my old Sliver deck. This is actually really fun because you can tap two creatures you control to put a creature of the same type from your hand into play. Just amazing back in the days when Sliver did not have the Mana Dork Sliver. So, but now Mana Dork Sliver exists and you can just cheat out any Sliver you want. That's really unfair. It's retro. And then we got Oversoul Cemetery. Uh, also, have this card in my Sliver deck. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have four more creature cards in your graveyard, return. A creature from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, and Dread Return. This is back in uh, with the uh, the turn zero or turn one kill uh, in Legacy, I think. Yeah, basically you sack three creatures to return a creature from graveyard to your hand, and you you got three of those creatures that comes into play for free if you mill them, and then you sack those to return an angel that reanimates all humans, and one of the humans is your laboratory maniac, and you win a game that way. Fun stuff. Another pair of your Drake goes over there. Another island. Damping Sphere. It was uncommon. Wow. Okay. Uh, Decapod. Orborg Uprising. Fraction Ghoul. Nomad Decoy. Cole Stoker. <laughs> Stoker. And then uh, Avarax. I wonder if that Dread Return is worth anything. Because it is a very cool retro foil looking car. And we're on pack number six. So we got two sort of dove packs in a row. I don't. I don't think the last pack is that crazy. It's come cool cards, but not crazy value-wise. Uh, Sapling. Oh, Wrath of God again. Oh, I'm very happy about getting Wrath of God. I don't really care if it's worth a lot of money or not. It's just a, just an awesome history to this card, you know? And then we got Siege Gang Commander. That's all I'm going to say about that. Arcanus the Omnipotent. Yeah, this, this card is okay in commander i guess uh, it's got the good ability of draw tap to draw three cards but you know cost six the thing is there's some good cheating effects with him that if he's in your graveyard and you can you know have a creature like a ooze that has all activated abilities you can use it and then siege gang commander again i don't i don't like that at all Peregrine Drake, White Ming Lion, Turnabout. I remember Turnabout back when uh, it was Mirage. I really thought this card was OP because you can you know, choose to uh, artifact creatures or land and then tap all untap permanents of the chosen type and untap all tap permanents of that same type. So uh, tap all your opponent's stuff, untap all your stuff on like a tricky play. It's fun, right? Mountain. Oh, another Turnabout, but not retro. Circular Logic, Madness Counter. Uh, Skirk, Prospector, uh, Lenfis, Mystic Zealot, Impulse, Howl from Beyond. 
All well, these cards look like they're very fun in a uh, limited format. Okie dokie. So that's half the box. Let's go to the other half. Another goblin. And uh, what? Elemental. Oh, War Gorger Dragon. The ultimate infinite combo. Uh, this is the first infinite combo I learned about that was so overpowered. It's War Gorger Dragon, animate dead. Basically, you just, you know, get, go into the infinite and then your opponent will hate you. It goes retro, so it's here. And it's a mythic. So, yeah. Chainers, uh, or Chainer, Dimension Master. I'm gonna have a dimension reading all these cards. Uh, legacy weapon again. I love legacy weapon. I talked about this before. This is uh, not great, but very, very fun. Uh, Windborn Muse. This is just regular. And then uh, Faldea Seer, Perinder Drake, Dread Return again. And uh, Swamp. Gerald's Verdict. Crop, crop rotation. You should have a crop rotation in every one of your green EDH deck. This, this card is OP because you cycle land. Basically, you change one of your land into the best land in your deck. And every deck has a good or best land. You know, your Gaia's Cradle, your uh, Sarah, Sarah Sanctum. Um, maybe even just a, uh, you know, Maze of Is. Something, right? This is, is good. Uh, Wretched Anurit? <laughs> Polluted Mire. Uh, Crowsand Restore. Goblin. Medic, I can't spell medic. Uh, Aqua Aquamiba. All right, so that that was a cool pack. I think we got two mythics in that pack too. And we haven't gotten mythic in a while. And then when it happens, when it rings and pours, goblin again. So many goblins. All right, construct. Oh, mystical tutor. It's not a mythic, but it is a tutor, and it is an amazing tutor. Oh, look at that. Double vampiric tutor box. Same. Treatment, except that last one was foil. This one's not foil. Still good. Vampiric Tutor is great card. Uh, Arcadis Sabbath. And Maze of Ith. Ooh, foil counter spell. Got it. Wild Growth. Oven Nice. Oven Nice. <laughs> I don't know what the card uh, does or how to pronounce it. Until the end of the turn, target creature loses all ability and has base power, toughness, zero, one. <laughs> so everything else is okay, except it's this target creature, which is back in the day how they named things. Target creature can't get, cannot get over a shroud or hexproof. So if they're a very good creature, you can't really get to them. Swamp, Durangolum, Avon, Fate, Fate Shaper, Spark Spray, Renew Faith, Lightning Reflex, Goblin Turn Code, and another Seer. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that word. Maybe I will. Faldean? Faldean? I mean, it's not like there are TV shows for Magic the Gathering, so it's not like I can figure out how to pronounce things correctly. Elephant. Uh, Elemental. Ooh! Tr Triskelion. Tr Triskelion. Again, I can't pronounce, but this car is so many part of infinite combos. If you can give him Undying, it just it just comes in and kills your like, infinite of your opponent. That's fun. Uh, this is Borderless. Alright, uh, Borderless Wrath of God. Another Wrath of God, I'm always happy about that. And a sneak attack. That is a that is a cool pack. Oh, 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 is that Urza's Incubator? Double mythic. Crazy mythic too. Sneak attack is an awesome card. Sneak in your opponent, drop in an Emercrow. Uh Urza's Incubator, awesome card in commander. Creature spell of the chosen type costs two less. So, you know, put it in the tribal deck. Win every game. Double mythic pack. Uh Spirit Monger. Swords to power shear. I couldn't. Oh, when I was little, I could never figure out what this word actually meant. What is it? Swords of power shear. What is swords to power shear? That was fun. Goblin matron. Uh, tutor common. That that is a good place to put these cards. Island. Griffin guide. And uh, assault battery. Don't assault your battery. You get acid all over you. Snap. Uh, nice shape familiar. Phyrexian rager. Elvish aberration. And the Cloud of Fairies, another part of a bunch of infinite combos. Because uh, when it comes to play, you can untap two lands. So if you can bounce it somehow and then, you know, keep playing it. And you have lands that adds more than one mana, which isn't that hard to do. You get infinite. So, fun stuff. Alright, that was a cool pack. That was a very, very cool pack. Now we're on, what is it, pack 10? Pack 10. Elephant. Elephantes. Oh, and a squirrel. And a foil birds of paradise. I mean, that's not the birds I want, but it's the birds I deserve. Helm of Awakening. Spells cost one less to cast. This is the reverse of the 
uh, what is it? Something sphere. The, the one that makes all, all, all cards cost one more. The opposite of that. Jester's Cap again. Cool card. Oh, the, the mythic Kam Kamal? Kamahan? Kamalhan? I can't, I don't know. Fist of Croza, right? Uh, people are whining about this card because it's not a mythic in its original treatment and it's not even that good. But I guess if you love Mono Green Commander, this is one way to go. Honestly, if you love Mono Green Commander, there are so many commanders you can choose from. Uh, Duress, Terror, Fire Blast, and then there's Planks. Trevas Ruin. Battle Screech, Terminal Ring. Uh, this is just making making it hard for me to say. Orborg Siphon Mage, uh, Pe Penubra, Bobcat, Faster Goblin, Grape Shot. Uh, okay, you can see how the the new cards are easy to pronounce. And Faster Goblin is kind of new, and then the older cards, Penubra, Bobcat. Ugh, can't pronounce those words. All right, that's pack number 10. We got one Mythic there, but it's a Croson. Now let's go to... Pack number 11. Zombies and a Construct. Sheevan Dragon. Takes me back to the days. I don't know, this is a retro foil, but I've never seen Sheevan Dragon in this art. So it's like, I think it's from one of the uh, uh, Judge promos. Hey, Gemstone Mine, that's a cool card. Basically, uh, City of Brass that doesn't ping you, but dies eventually. Dies very quickly, actually. A Spinal Embrace. Don't embrace your own spine. And a Grim Lava Mancer. Eh. And then we got Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is cool. Uh, Ornithopter. Uh, Savannah Lion. And a Mountain. Spectral Lynx. The, uh, the Dodecapod. Slippery Cars. Undying Rage. Orm's Thunder. Ikor Slick and Howl from Beyond. All right, that's pack number 11. Pack number 12, last pack. What are we gonna get? Elephant again, that's a lot of elephants. And then we got Squirrel, a Cliff Out Retreat. That's our uh, retro land of the set. Uh, that's not fun. Grim Lava Mancer. That's even less fun. Ah, uh, double Grim. Oh, uh, okay. That's that's all the rares we're gonna get. Uh, Grim Lava Mancer. Another Grim Lava Mancer and a Triskelin. And that's it. Mistress Factory. Uh, Chainer's Edict. Wild Dog. All right. Oh, we got the uh, the cool looking island again. There's that. Chainer's Edict. The Dromar's Cavern. This is a cool lair version of the Esper Lens. Subterranean Scout. Uh, Warm Fang Drake, Savannah Lion, Remote Isle, and another Duress. All right, so that is all of the packs. And if we look at the Mythics, we got Double Vampiric, Sylvan Library again, Gauntlet, uh, Urza's Incubator, and Yawgmoth, right? So we didn't get Urza to set, we got Incubator and Yawgmoth, and still no Force of Will, which, I mean, I'm not happy, but I get it. Oh, and I forgot the Liar. So... We did get a lot of mythics though. That's like what, 11 mythics? That's a good number. All right, 11 mythics of 12 packs, that's a good number. Uh, most of these mythics are pretty impactful, right? Vampiric Tutors are good. Sneak Attack is good. War Gorger is beautiful. Incubator, Yawkmoth is good. Silver Library is good. So, you know, Lurok you can use in an Angel deck too. So only thing that I don't see being that useful is the Gauntlet of Power. It's, it's pretty looking. Uh, look at my arm, look at, look at that arm. That has a gauntlet. This does not have a gauntlet. That's about it. And uh, uh, Croson, I think it's good. I, I don't know what the prices are, but it is, I think, the second or first reprint that he, he had. So people are liking that at the very least. That's all I got for today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.